And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceeding glad, for he was desirous to see him of a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. Then he questioned with him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and the scribes stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod, with his men of war, set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. On the same day, Pilate and Herod was made friends together, for before they were at enmity between themselves and Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people, said unto them, You have brought this man unto me as one of that perverseth the people, and behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man, touching those things whereof ye accuse him. No, nor yet, Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him, for necessity he must release one unto them at the feast. Then they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barbarus who for a certain sedation made in the city and for murder was cast into prison. Pilate therefore willing to release Jesus spake again to them, but they cried and saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were incensed with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and the chief priests Availed and Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. And they released unto them him that for sedation and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired. But he delivered Jesus to their will. As they led him away, they laid hold on one Simon, a Syrian, coming out of the country, and on him that laid the cross, and he might bear it after Jesus. And there followed him a great company of people, and a woman that was from also bewailed and lamented him, but Jesus turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the paths which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there were also two other malefactors, led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, and there they crucified him, and the malefactors on the right hand, and the other on the left, then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they departed his raiment, locked and cast lots, and the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, like him himself, and if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him, and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And I see a script, and also is written over him, and left his Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. For this is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors, which were hanged, veiled on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us.